Awesome. All right, we're going to try to present here and hope y'all don't disappear. Welcome everyone to, hey Candy, to the um, Team Reach. Oh, it says screen sharing was paused. Sorry, give me a second. I'm messing it all up. Look, now everybody's just going to have to fast forward <laughs> as I started recording. All right. Um, can you guys see the screen? Give me just a thumbs up if you can see the screen. Okay. I'm just going to leave it like this. I know it's not as pretty as if I was in presenter mode, but it wants to kick me off screen sharing when I put it in presenter mode. So we're going to leave it like this. <laughs> All right. So welcome to Team Reach Lineage Gather for the month of February. I do want to take a minute to celebrate um, January as a lineage. We did have an amazing month. We sold $35,386 in organizational volume. And we also submitted um, 59 parties, which is fabulous. I would love to get that number up. We'll talk about our February goals um, towards the end. But we welcomed 35 new team members um, during the month of January, which is always incredibly exciting to help um, other women get started in our business, okay? So I'm really excited about that as well. All right, we are going to go on to the next one. So I included a quote about Taylor Swift or a quote from Taylor Swift and you'll see how that's gonna play into everything as we go on this evening. But I think that being fearless is having a lot of fears, but you jump in anyway. And I think that that really corresponds with um, direct sales because getting outside of our circle is probably the hardest thing to do um, in direct sales. And we know that the, um, the magic happens outside of our circle, right? Outside of our family and friends, that's where the magic truly happens. And sometimes it can be really scary to reach out to people um, that we don't necessarily um, feel comfortable, right? Somebody that we don't know um, and have those new conversations. So um, I feel like this quote really uh, relates to that. All right, so I'm gonna go over the basics. Uh, if you've looked at the playbook, you should have seen all of this. Or if you have um, looked at TOT marketing, you um, should have seen all of this too. But I do wanna go over it for those of you that maybe haven't had a chance to uh, look at all of that. So February for consultants, okay, we have the new $500 incentive, which is the New Horizons So in the clear clip pouch. Those are going to come in the Sedona stripe, which is shown right here. But you can see we can personalize them just like we could that January one. Um, so that is um, something you'll have the opportunity to add on there. I absolutely love that Sedona stripe. I think the colors are absolutely beautiful. And I saw somebody do like the, the darker maroon color on there. It looked really pretty too. So you have the opportunity to earn those for free when you submit $500 in volume. Now, keep in mind that volume can be a combination of party sales, retail sales, and marketplace, which we talked about um, during that January gather, okay, those three types of orders. Uh, we do have the limited edition kit, and we have invite codes on our dashboard. So if you don't know where those are or you haven't seen those, they'll be on your TOT dashboard. Now, if you are a new consultant, you actually have to toggle the switch that says new consultant view and take it off of new consultant view. So that way um, you can see those codes. I believe they were working on fixing that, but I think for now you do have to toggle that onto the regular um, TOT. It's just a, a green button. Um, and then you'll see those invite codes. Now, when somebody puts that invite code in, it's automatically going to sync them into that $31 kit. I actually had someone trying to join the other day, and she was undecided on which kit she wanted to get. And once she put in that code, it wouldn't even let her choose the bigger kit. So if they're still thinking about which kit, I would tell them not to put them, that code in until they're sure you know they do want that $31 option. Now, the $31 option, they don't get to choose the color. I know the, the other kits that we've had, they've gotten to choose their print and personalization. They don't get to choose. It is the red. And when they are gone, they are gone. The company has 2,000 of the $31 kits. And once 
they're sold out, they're sold out. Okay. Um, and then right now, this is going to be the last month that they can get the free six month website subscription as of now. Okay. So that's, you know, a really big selling point for them to join this month and not wait until March because they won't get um, those free six months. Does anyone have any questions on that? I am watching the chat um, if you want to type in there. And if you want to unmute, you're welcome to. I will give everybody an opportunity to, to ask questions at the end as well. All right. All right. Another thing that they announced this month is our 2025 Top Achiever Trip. Um, every year, there is an opportunity for consultants to earn a free vacation. And this year, it's going, well, actually, it'll be next year that you actually want to travel. Um, and it's going to be in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, at the Hilton. Now, all of these pictures are from the Hilton Resort that we would actually be staying at. So um, I want you to, oh, sorry, <laughs> to dream big and think about what it would be like sitting on that beach in Mexico in 2025, okay? Because the earning period just started. Uh, it started in January, actually. They didn't tell us um, where it was or anything until uh, the 1st. And so now that we know where it is, maybe that is more intriguing as to uh, your opportunity to earn it. It is based on a point system, and I am going to be working with those people that do want to uh, try to earn the trip. Um, it does take goal setting and planning to earn it. You're not going to earn it on accident. Um, and so I want to make sure that if that's something that you want, you have the opportunity uh, to get that accountability and assistance in earning the trip. I will tell you that I have been to different places with 31. I've been a consultant for seven years. So uh, those of you that might be uh, new consultants on the call, I have earned a trip to Hawaii, to Punta Cana, to Los Cabos, to Disney, and to Rome. Um, and I earned a cruise too, but we didn't get to go because it was COVID. Um, so we never did get to take that cruise, but we did get a cash payout because we weren't able to um, uh, actually go on that one. But um, so the trips are totally possible. Um, no matter what level uh, you are in the business, you could be a brand new consultant and earn the trip. It is not limited to a certain title. Um, it is solely based on sales and sponsoring um, this time. And so anyone has the opportunity to earn that. Trina, you would love to help in setting goals. Awesome. The earning. Oh, good question, Teresa. Thank you for asking that. <laughs> Teresa asks, how long is the earning period? It's through the end of the year. Okay. So you have until December the 31st, which is a lot of time um, to make a plan and set goals and make that happen for sure. But we will talk about that more. And if you want to ask more questions or you think of questions, um, just jot them down or make a little note and we'll talk about this at the end. All right, February for insiders. We know that the key to having a successful business is partying. Um, parties can look like different things, right? From vendor events to fundraisers, to Facebook parties, to in-home parties, to catalog parties, to restaurant parties, right? It doesn't matter where or how, um, what's really important and what a party really consists of is a place where you can um, meet new people, right? You can make new connections, meet new people. And our February Insider Special is really centered around caregivers, um, teachers, nurses, social workers, government employees. I would love to hear anything else in the chat that you think would be a good um persona, I guess, to uh, target market this bundle to. I know we have that persona quiz on our website, and I've really been trying to get more and more of my customers to fill out the quiz and then let me know what their response was, right? Because anyone who ends in that caregiver persona, that's going to immediately be a person that we want to offer to host that $500 party in February, okay? 
So thinking about that persona specifically this month and who's going to be on your list, who are you going to reach out to that kind of fits that category um, in order to, yes, Shelly, daycare workers, absolutely. Um, but those are going to be the, the people that we really want to start reaching out to about this bundle to get some parties on our calendar for February. All right. February for customers, we continue our customer special, which is the spend $50, get any item for half price, keeping in mind that your best deal is to do it on any regular price item. If it happens to be a sale item, that's the next item in the cart. Sometimes it's really not going to be a better discount, okay? So that, that any item really should be a regular price item for them to uh, maximize that. And this is just an example of a bundle if they put all of this in their cart, it would mark it down to $83 utilizing that customer special, okay? So you could even use um, this bundle as an example. Would you rather pay $83 for a set like this or would you rather pay $25, right? So that's a way that you can mark it, which this has the bento box versus the lanyard, but you could show them what a cart would look like with these items in and how much of a, like it's a $98 value, okay? versus them getting to pay $25 for hosting the party. Um, we do have our Easter sale going on. It ends at 8 a.m. on February the 16th. Most people don't get up and shop at 6 a.m. in the middle of the week. So I always try to um, tell my customers it ends the night before. Like it ends the 15th in my head um, because most, like I said, most people aren't getting up at 6 a.m. to shop the last day, the last hour of the sale. Um, so just keep that in mind that that's going to be ending on the 15th and that we're going to be finding out um, something new on February the 12th. Have you guys seen that garden uh, picture when you log into TOT? Um, let me see if I can switch. There we go. This right here. OK, so it shows different things. And the next one is going to grow on February the 12th. Okay. So some, that means a big announcement is going to come. Each of these is going to be a big announcement, uh, coming through the spring. So our next one's going to be on February the 12th. All right. And the other thing I want to share with you is the bag bucks. Okay. Anyone who spent a hundred dollars subtotal, okay. Not including tax and shipping, January 1st through the 15th is go going to have bag bucks as long as they have a customer account created. Now you can, f they added a report so that way it's very easy to find out who of your customers actually have bag bucks loaded in to their customer accounts. And I'm going to go and show you where that's located right now so that way you'll know it. So when you get to your TOT, it should look like this. If you're a new consultant, this is that toggle switch I was talking about. So we can go to new consultant view. Oh, I guess the invite codes are on there now. Okay, but you can switch it over to the regular view, which is this. Okay, the report that I'm talking about is over here under reports. And then you'll scroll down to where it says bag bucks customer. Okay, you'll go to bag bucks customer and it'll show you the email address that the customer account is linked to. And then it'll show the $20 rewards, okay? So I have four people that have bag bucks. So those are the four people that I'm going to message and follow up with. Does anyone have any questions about how to see their bag buck customers and follow up with those people? Okay, they only have until the 15th to redeem those, okay? So make sure that you follow up with those customers before the 15th. All right, next up is our Team Reach Lineage exclusive um, incentive, which is our tic-tac-toe. You guys did so good with tic-tac-toe. I think we had 20 people that sent me their tic-tac-toe boards for January. So I'll be mailing out happy mail this week uh, to all of you that sent me those, those tic-tac-toe boards. And we have a new one for February. So a lot of the squares will stay similar. Um, however, I am going to change a couple of them each month just to um, get you trying new things or um, change the, the way that they are arranged on the tic-tac-toe board. And we're going to talk about how we're going to mark these squares off. So the texting party, that's what we're going to be talking about next. 
um, tonight. Those of you that are on here, and there are 16 of you on here, you're going to get to mark off that middle square, which is um, a good kind of free space there, right, for hopping on here with me tonight. Um, and then sponsoring a new team member with that $31 code. Uh, that's where you'll get that off of TOT um, in order to use that code. And we're also going to talk about booking a fundraiser tonight and what a fundraiser might look like. All right. Now, the Boards app. If you have not downloaded the Boards app or looked at the Boards app, it's really, 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 really important that you do that. Um, the Jenny Hohenberg, who is the number one consultant for the company, she, um, oh, somebody said, can you do it one more time? Are you talking about the bag bucks candy? The bag bucks is over here. Sorry, I'm going to backtrack for a second. Um, under reports on TOT. And then once you, oh, of course the internet's going slow now. <laughs> once you get to reports, it'll be down here. Um, bag bucks customer. All right, so the boards app though is so, 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 so helpful, okay? Um, it puts all of the things that can really help grow your business in one place. And one place that's really easy to access from your phone. I don't know about um, you, but I work from my phone a majority of the time. And so just having those things um, at my fingertips is incredibly important. And as you can see, the resources on here um, are great for this month, okay? I'm going to swap over there to board. So this is what it looks like if you log into it. It's a website, so you can go to it on a computer if you're more comfortable on the computer. Um, you can definitely log in uh, on the computer. It is free. You don't have to have the paid version, okay? As long as you don't have more than three boards. Somebody's unmuted here. Okay. Um, if, as long as you don't have more than three boards, then you're good. You don't have to pay for it. Okay, there are certain features like being able to download a photo without having to screenshot it. That's a paid feature, um, but it's definitely not a necessity. Okay. Now, if you go to February, it literally tells you everything that I just told you, but you can click through it. So if you're like, oh, what was that insider special? I really need a graphic. Well, there it is, right? Daily VIP posts. If you have a VIP group on Facebook, she has done the work for you. Okay, she's gotten the posts, the graphics, the wording, all of it. So like today's the fourth. So you'll notice I posted this in my VIP group if you're in there. And this is one of our persona questions. You know, she works hard during the week, but loves to go out of town on the weekends. Which products of these would you choose for her? So my VIPs have been commenting, you know, which ones. And it even has the words um, that you can copy and paste and put in there. You can schedule these ahead of time, okay? Facebook has a scheduler system that you can schedule them, I think, up to 30 days in advance. So you could schedule, you know, the rest of February. So, like, here's tomorrow's post. And it's really just um, like a Motivation Monday type post. Not everything you post in your VIP group should be um, salesy. And so these posts are, um, have done a really good job um, of kind of putting that mix in there, okay? Okay. Um, but anything that you're like, oh, what's going on this month? I have no idea, you know, what the jumpstart is or um, where are the enrollment kits, right? You can just go here and find out. So there's kit pictures and then this is our enrollment offer. How do they redeem the $31 invite code? It's right here, okay? All of the information that you could need for the month of February is in that gray box right there. Now, Easter sale, if you go into the Easter sale, there are product spotlights. You can be spotlighting. She's went and found all these real life pictures, even put the words with them. You can be spotlighting all of those Easter sale items in your parties, in your VIP group. Um, and then there are some graphics with prices and everything on too, okay? So whatever graphics you prefer to share, uh, typically real life pictures tend to sell a little bit better. So um, that's there. Now, what we're going to talk about this evening, uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the texting party, okay? There are, there's trainings on how the texting party works, how to use the bundle party. 
Um, I did the winter and spring bundle party with my personal customers last month, and it was a hit. They really enjoyed that. Uh, this week for the texting party week, I am going to be using the Eris Tour bundle party. So if you're a Taylor Swift fan or your VIPs are Taylor Swift fans, um, these are some really great uh, bundles that kind of add that theme to it. Now, if you're like, I don't know about texting, there is a Facebook option. Okay, it goes through and you can do it as a Facebook party in your VIP group, or you can do it um, in a party group, okay? All of these are in here. Now, what I really wanna focus you on though is trying it as a texting party. I'm gonna go back to here for right now because I'm getting ahead of myself now, okay? So I'm gonna go through the process of what a texting party looks like with you every step of the way this week. So this is going to be my plan personally, because I'm going to do it too. Um, and I'm just going to do it with you. Share everything that I'm doing, give you the tips and tricks and all of the things um, for you to try this texting party. So tomorrow we're going to focus on creating an invite list. Who's on that list um, and actually writing it down on a piece of paper. Then on Tuesday, we're going to send out those invite texts. Okay. And if we don't get enough yes responses, then we're going to reevaluate our invite list again and, and send a few more. Okay. Once we have a good list, and to be honest, a good texting party could only be 10 to 15 people. Okay. Don't think that, you know, it, it's got to be like a Facebook party. It's got like 40 or 50 people in it. I don't want to text 40 or 50 people for three days. <laughs> I'm sure you don't either. Um, so really 10 to 15 people is going to be our goal with this. And um, we're going to be sending those bundle texts out then the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Okay. It's only, I think, three texts per day. Let me go back here. Uh, let's see. It should be. So it would be bundle one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it'd be three bundles for three days is what it would come down to. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. I think that we can all text 10 people three bundles each day for three days. Okay. And then on Saturday will be the day that you submit orders and follow up. And I specifically waited until like I really planned this out um, to where, you know, if you do work all during the week, you can focus during the weekend. And if they're not submitted on Saturday, it's okay. You do want to give people a deadline. So like I would make sure um, that it's submitted, you know, by Sunday at the latest. You don't want to start another week um, with outstanding orders and stuff like that. Unless someone specifically is like, hey, can I wait and pay for my bundle until payday or whatever? And that's fine. I do that for my customers. But then make sure you follow up with that person on payday or guess what? They're not going to remember to come back to you. Um, you know, that's going to be your job as the consultant to go back and follow up with that. I see, Teresa, you said, what is Eris? So that's Taylor Swift's um, Eris tour. It's all of her songs that she's made over um, the last two decades. And so that's where it's named after is her Eris tour. All right, so because I want as many people as possible to participate in our text party uh, week, I am going to be giving away a free product on Sunday, and you'll get an entry for participating and hosting the texting party. I will give you one entry for every booking you get from the party and one entry for any new team members you get from the party. Can the text be set up as a group or it is best to use individual text? It definitely individual text, okay? No one wants to be thrown into a group message. Um, and so I very, very strongly advise you not to do that. Um, we don't want it to be salesy. I would hate if somebody put me into a group text and then started sending me things. Um, it really is good to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation too because you want to make sure that you're helping the person that you're talking to um, when, you know, they're texting back. So how the party works, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, 
is it goes through, okay, like the wording on the post, comment, hold, or pass. So in texting form, it says text back, hold, or pass, okay? So when she texts back, hold, or pass, that's when you're going to create a cart for her or a list. I do have a tracker because I don't create all of the carts until like the very end. And I want to make sure that I don't miss somebody who said, hold this or whatever. And, you know, I've gotten busy through the week and, you know, didn't create the cart right then. But all of them, it's called a hold pass um, style party. And so they're just going to comment hold or pass. Now, I will tell you this, not everyone is going to comment past every time they don't like the bundle. They're just going to not text you back. <laughs> and that's totally fine. Don't think that because they didn't text you back, they're ignoring you. Uh, they probably are looking at it or maybe they were busy and they're going to come back to it later. I've had people come back, at, you know, after the work day is over and be like, um, pass on the first to hold the third one. Right. Because we all know that People have different work schedules and what works best for you doesn't work best for them as far as timing is concerned. And so, you know, you don't have to wait for someone to say pass before you send the next bundle. Um, a lot of us that use Project Broadcast, which is a scheduler um, app, those send automatically whether they respond or not. And so I would advise you as a consultant to do the same thing. Like when you have time, you send out the text messages. Um, you don't necessarily have to wait for her to respond. But so all she does is say hold or pass through the whole week. Okay, and you're writing it down or making a cart for her. The last bundle is our kit. Okay, so she has the opportunity to say hold or pass on her kit. This will be when you start to follow up after that, okay? Um, if she has a cart of products, you're gonna then follow up with her and be like, here's the list of bundles that you wanted. You know, are you ready to check out? Do you, do you wanna pick prints? Like you're gonna have those conversations. That's where using that group chat wouldn't be as beneficial as those individual messages because, you know, Susie doesn't care about what Polly over here wants on her bag or what print she's choosing and all of that, right? You want to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with her, picking out personalization, picking out prints, finalizing her total, and then having her send um, how she wants to pay. It, the pink glove service really is what helps the texting parties to be successful. I have people that are in my VIP group that only order when I do these texting parties because they want me to do that for them, right? It's very inconvenient to go on a website, to pick out the prints, to personalize it, to go through finding their credit card and, and typing all that in and typing all their address in and all that. If I'm willing to do that for her and she doesn't have to worry about the headache of that, she's more than likely going to actually place the order rather than putting it off for, you know, a day or two, and then it becomes weeks. Okay. That's where that, that relationship with your customer really starts to build is having those conversations. That's why the texting party is so successful is because it's not just somebody posting something on Facebook and hoping somebody decides to order. Okay. It's actually having those communications. I found found you through a, a texting party. Yeah, texting parties are great. I love it. It really allows you to have a whole different conversation. Um, okay, and so then this is the last one, which is the thank you um, text. And you'll want to wait and send that once, you know, she's responded to whether or not she has a cart. If she doesn't have a cart, that's when we're going to go ahead and send her a message that says, hey, I didn't have any holds for you, but here's my link in case you do want to shop. Um, if you are going to be the hostess for the texting party, I would suggest you try it as a mystery hostess. And that way you can give away those rewards. It kind of entices people to place an order. Um, also, if you're going to give away the rewards to somebody who shops. Um, but we can't, we're going to go over all of the details of this day by day by day. So don't get overwhelmed with the details necessarily right now. I just wanted to share kind of the basics with you um, because each day I'm going to go live in the lineage page and walk you um, through it step by step.
Okay, so that's basically how the script works. Now, the bundle parties are best with your VIP group, okay? Or with the people that are in your circle or slightly outside of your circle, people in your virtual office. Um, if you're going to try to book a texting party, we have a whole nother script for that because we don't want to just show someone who's hosting a party. We don't want to just show her guests the bundles necessarily. We want her to still have the whole party experience. What is 31 about? Because there are still a lot of people that don't know what 31 has, especially, you know, as products have changed over the years. Some people might not have seen our products in a couple of years and they're like, oh, well, I haven't seen those. I'd love to see, you know, what you have to offer. And while the bundles, you know, highlight deals, they don't necessarily highlight the whole spectrum of what we have to offer. So booking a texting party, you might want to use a different script. And we're going to get to that. Um, in just a second. Let me go back here. Okay, so texting party week this week. How to maximize that, okay? So when I do the texting party, like I was saying, I do a mystery hostess because I want to maximize the number of people that will place orders and it gives them that deadline to place those orders by. So I'm gonna be like, if you wanna be entered to win the rewards from this party, you have to place your order no later than midnight on February the 10th. And um, so that incentivizes them to place that order and do it in a timely fashion. Now, one thing you can do to maximize this is kind of do a whole theme week in your VIP group, right? We know Taylor Swift is dating Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is playing in the Super Bowl on Sunday. So take advantage of that, right? We can do a whole theme week around um, the Super Bowl and Taylor Swift, the heiress texting party. You can also post the bundles in your VIP group. The people that are in my VIP group and the people that join my texting parties, while some of them are the same people, they don't pay attention to both things, okay? The people that are in my VIP group, that shop my VIP group, don't participate in my bundle parties. And the people that shop in my bundle parties via text don't comment on anything ever in my VIP group, okay? So I want you to know that even though they might be in both places, they're not going to participate both ways. They're going to decide what's best for them, what how they enjoy shopping, and that's how they're going to show up. Okay, so that's why our job as the consultant is to show up in both places so we can really maximize the number of customers and um, guests that we're really touching with our business, okay? So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to post the bundles in my VIP group too. Even though I'm doing it via text, I'm also going to be posting them in my VIP group. Going live in your VIP group. If you have any new product, even if it's just one or two products, Going live in your VIP group and sharing those products is a huge, huge excitement builder, okay? Not just for your VIP group, to, but it also gets that interaction going again. It sends everyone a notification about you going live versus when you just post, they could get that post notification seven days later, okay? But going live is one of those notifications that it, it triggers to everyone. Tease the bundle party and the theme week on your personal page. Post a picture, like the one picture on boards right here, this first one, Eris bundle party. Be like, where are my Taylor Swift fans at? You know, and, and kind of tease that. Be like, I'm doing this really fun theme party. Join my VIP group. Join my texting party. Um, and that way you're, you're bringing in new customers that aren't in your VIP group yet or are in your virtual office yet. People that, you know, maybe have been watching you on social media, but they haven't committed um, to joining either of those. So that's another way that you can kind of maximize that. And then send a virtual office email. So if you do have contacts in your virtual office, you can send an email out about the texting party and you can offer them to join the texting party or join your VIP group and let them know like you're doing this fun themed party and you want them to you know, be part of it. Don't miss out on it. Um, so those are all ways that you can really just, it doesn't take a lot of time 
um, but ways that you can kind of maximize that reach as far as what you're doing, okay? All right, any questions about all of that? I know that was a lot. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to show you that other texting party. So this party, oh, see all these messages. Whew. All right. So Rhonda created a Facebook group specifically for the hostess-led texting party. So if you want to start changing over from doing Facebook parties to texting parties, promise it takes less time. <laughs> um then this is an option and it even shows like if you have Facebook party scheduled, here's a way to try to get them to, to switch over from the Facebook party to the texting party. Um, and then gives you instructions on how it works. And then it starts with the text messages like this would be the invite message, okay? If you're doing it on Project Broadcast, you know, they could text a keyword. Here's, you know, party info. This is what you would text them back once they said they want to be part of the party. This would be the message that you want to send them. And then moving forward, it says like then that day at 7.30 p.m., you would then send this. So you see how this party is more like the typical Facebook party, shows them all of the prints. Then it goes through the category. So here's utility, purses and wallets. And it tells you exactly when to send the message and on what day. Day day one, third text. Okay, day one, fourth text. Day two, first text. Now, these times are general, okay? It doesn't mean that, oh, if I don't send this at 10 a.m., the party's over. No, we want it to be convenient for you. I know some people that when they do these texting parties and it's four text messages for the day, They'll send them at 6, 6.30, 7, and 7.30 because the evening is when they have access to their phone and can do that, okay? So you can do the texting party on your schedule. She's going to respond when it's convenient for her, okay? So you can't expect that she's going to respond when you send those text messages, but you can do it on your schedule. She can respond on her schedule and... um especially the print one. I love to share with them some of the other things that it comes in and definitely focus on some of those real life um, solutions. So this one goes through the categories a little bit more versus the bundles. It even shows the personalization options, has a booking plug. Yes, Megan, I'm going to let give every one of you access to this. Uh, she just finished it right before we got on the call. Again, share the opportunity. And then it's a thank you and we're going to, you know, get the orders placed, okay? So it's giving them that deadline still. And I, I think it's four texts for three days, okay? So it is a little bit um, different there. And then there's a customer special text if they want to ask, if you want to share, like if they have a card of, you know, $50 or more, they qualify for that 50% um, off item. And here's an example of sending a cart, okay? So like I was saying with the bundle party, I just send them a message like this. It says, let me know what you want to add, keep or delete. And just an example, like you just screenshot the cart. And be like, this is what I have so far. This is what the total is going to be. Are you ready to check out? Do you want to change anything? Um, and just have those conversations. Um, Teresa says, are these copy and paste? Yes, you would copy and paste each of them for sure. Yes, I will invite all of you to this group. 100%. As a matter of fact, I'll just drop it in the chat right now. And then you guys can go ahead and request to join. And as soon as I get off of here, um, you can do that. Or I'll accept everybody, okay? All right. So that was texting parties in a nutshell. Like I said, I'm going to really focus on that this week, going live each day in the lineage page just for a few minutes to walk you through like, what am I doing today? Um, and what could you be doing today if you're going to participate in uh, the texting party week? Now, another square on your tic-tac-toe board this month is to book a fundraiser. Fundraisers are a huge opportunity to get new contacts. So what if they want to do PayPal? How does that work? Kathy, if they pay, if they want to PayPal, I just have them PayPal me and then I just pay for their order. 
um, if they want to do like the PayPal and for payments or whatever, you would just be like, okay, well then you have to put the cart together on your website. <laughs> like I would just send them the website and be like, here's the cart, add these items to your cart, and then you can check out that way. Um, I will say so far, I haven't had anyone specifically asked for that. I do use, so on boards and guys, this, this whole bundle thing is on boards for you too. This isn't just on my boards. This is on the 31 boards under the bundle, the bundle and bundle party for text and Facebook, and then the heiress bundle. Okay. One thing I do use is this payment board. And I'm really getting far off of where I want to be. So I'm going to apologize if this gets really long. But if you copy that um, and you do most of them, I think you ha can have like an extra board, but you want to have a board. I call it important links. And then you can paste the board here. OK, then you can edit it. So you'll click that edit button in the top corner and where it says pay with Venmo. Okay, that's the person who created its Venmo account. Do not leave that there. <laughs> that would be bad, okay? But you can put your Venmo link there and then click done and then pay with a credit card. This is a Google form she made. You can just recreate the Google. I have the Google form that I made. I can share that with you. Text the... um credit card number to you, that's fine too. I added PayPal to mine. I'll show you what mine looks like because I already have one from that winter one. Here's what mine looks like. So it says pay with Venmo, pay with credit card, pay with PayPal. And even the Super Bowl squares that I've been doing, I send this payment board to them and then they choose how they want to pay me. But I just have it set up to where it'll take them to my PayPal. Um, and then same thing, pay with Venmo takes them to my Venmo, okay? Um, and then the credit card one, it takes them to a very simple Google form that just says your name, how would you like to pay? And then um, if they want to pay by phone, my phone num their phone number, and then they just add all of their credit card information if they're comfortable with putting it in there. Um, and then I can take that information and use it to put in there. Some people aren't comfortable with texting it. So this is just another way. I have a lot of customers that just text me a picture of their credit card and, and move on. Um, they don't necessarily want to go through filling all of that out. But that payment board is really nice for people that, you know, they're like, oh, how do I pay? Here, here's the link. You decide how you want to pay. Um, so I have been utilizing that a little bit more with my texting parties and my raffles and stuff like that. It's a really easy one-stop shop for them to be able to um, decide how they want to pay me. Um, okay. And I sent you guys the link to this. So let's go back here. So fundraisers um, is a really good way to get new contacts. I've done a couple of fundraisers with my girls gymnastics team. Um, Dean, I think there's instructions on there. Let me see if I can send this to where you can make a copy of it. Hold on one second. Because I feel like I did set this up on my own. So it should let you make a copy. Give me a second here. Copy that. All right, if you click on that, let me see. Does it say make a copy? Yeah. Okay, so that will work. If you want to use that link from that I just dropped in the chat, it will let you make a copy of that credit card form. And then the board, you just make a copy of the board and then change out those links. Okay, and all of that payment page is, you can find it at the bottom or right here. Okay, that you can edit that. And of course, you could just delete her picture or put your own picture in there if you want to. Okay, so fundraisers. Um, I've done some with my daughter's gym. I just finished up one for a pony show um, fundraiser. I have done some specific to causes too, like breast cancer awareness and veterans. So I've, I've done different ones where I've partnered with different teams or organizations to give back. Um, 
what's most important though is yes, you're going to get the personal volume, which is going to help you, you know, earn things like the trip. I do not give all of my commission away. Usually I'll give, you know, like 20% out of the 25%. Um, you could even do 15%. It's totally a personal choice as far as how much you give back. And it'll even show you too, whether you choose to do this as a party, which is what I typically do, or you, how you can do it as marketplace. Now, this is in boards. And so I'm gonna go back to boards, back to that 31 team board, okay? If you scroll down to where it says party tools and scripts, and you click on there, you can click on fundraisers, click on 31 fundraisers, and it's gonna pull this up. And it's gonna talk about the difference between doing it as a party and doing it as marketplace. When I do it as a party, I simply share a let, let them share a link and they can purchase whatever they want, okay? And then I just donate a portion of my commission. If you're doing it for a specific team and or a specific group that they want, you know, like picture proud on there, they want their logo on the products, then marketplace might be the better option because then, you know, you can, you would charge the customer the regular price but then that 40% wouldn't be coming out of your pocket. You could donate 40% um, back to them, okay? Um, here are templates that another leader made, okay? So here's an example of one she did. Uh, it looks like for a school, okay? So she just showed them what the picture proud for that school logo would look like on the products and said, these are the products you can place an order for, okay? And these are the regular prices of these items. And then she can determine whether she wants to use that marketplace option or she wants to use that party plan option. Here are all kinds of different templates, okay, that she has created. I think they go through Canva. So if I click on this one, yep, it takes me to Canva. So that one that she showed there, I can click use template for new design. And then you can simply change out the logos on these. So you can just upload whatever businesses or teams logo on there. And these are items that you can do that to on our website, okay? Under the picture proud um, option, okay? Um, here's a fundraiser info sheet. So if you wanted to, share this with the person who is trying to raise money, you can be like, we're going to do an essential storage tote. So you're going to pick one product. Now, these are older prints, but you can put the current prints there and be like, these are your choices. You know, you can buy them for $32. The customer would buy them for $32 each. Then they would get $8. That's what she's giving them per tote sold. So then it shows like their fundraising goal. We want to try to sell 150 totes so we can raise $1,200. Okay, so this is like an example flyer that you could share with um, with a particular team, business, school, whatever you're doing that fundraiser for, okay? But all of these, um, all of these are information or templates for you to use so that way you can try to do different fundraisers. So like this one she did for her school's course. This looks like it was, you know, during Christmas. So she did medium utility totes and essential storage totes. And this was like a paper order form she could give out to every kid that's in the chorus. Okay. And they would write those down and she would put them in as one bulk order. Again, it's an option. Okay. These are all options. Don't feel like this is what you have to do. Here's one she made for an on like a Google form type one. Okay, so she made this and she said, who are you supporting? Choose which tote you want and then how many you want. And she had them, it's the same exact fundraiser just in a Google form format. So that option is on there as well. Um, essential backpack. So another way to do a fundraiser is to do sponsorships where you choose a product and then they pay for the product plus a little bit more to cover, you know, what you're going to fill those with. 
So she did cinch sacks for $20 and then she filled them with school supplies and donated them to a foster care organization in her area. I know I'm not sure that Rhonda's on here, but Rhonda does lunch thermals every single July and she works with one of the foster agencies that's um, in our area and she gets 100 lunch thermals sponsored every single July uh, to give back that way, okay? So there's a lot, there's so many different ways that you can utilize our business as a fundraiser. So I just want you to know that that option is here and the ideas are here. Um, like I said, when I did the fundraiser for my daughter's gymnastics gym and this pony championship, I simply created a party link, said shop what you want to shop. When it's all said and done, whatever the party PV is, I'll give you, you know, 20% of that which would be essentially my commission, right? I'd keep 5% for myself just because it is work, right? But your whole goal with the fundraiser is to get new customers and to just really get your name um, out there okay, and be able to give back. All right, um, let me see through the chat here. Wonder if I could do shop with the cop. Yeah, you could do something. Um, something like that. I know we do shop with a cop too um, in our area. So that would be something that you could talk to them about. Um, talking, yes, fundraiser going to Europe. Love that. Absolutely. A great opportunity. I know a lot of kids, you know, are taking those uh, trips abroad through the schools and stuff like that. And they do different fundraisers. So partner with, you know, the school and see would everyone that's going on that trip want to, you know, participate in a fundraiser like this. Okay, so those um, are all different options, all different templates. There is a Facebook group that is specifically for fundraising ideas. If you want to join that Facebook group, the link is um, right here uh, in boards. And so that's another option too. All right, let's see where I'm at in this. I'm uh, confused about how to change the templates to add your school logo. <clears throat> so when you go to here, like if you're doing this one, let me go back here, sorry. You would have to upload your school's logo on here, or you can go to the 31 website and have the mock-up already done. These, she just added the logo on here just to make the flyer a little bit easier. But you'll just go to uploads and then like I'll push. <clears throat> I'm just going to use this as an example. This is how I made the PowerPoint that I'm sharing with you tonight. So like I could just delete that and I could put this board's logo on here for them to see that. OK. But I would put the school's logo or the sports team's logo on there. OK. And then you when you're ready, you just click share and you would just click download. OK. And it would download as a PDF. Um, now when it would come time to place that order, okay, it actually would go and be uploaded onto the bag through the 31 website. So if I go to parties, let me just show you real quick. So it's under, under featured, you go to picture proud and you see how those logos are directly uploaded. You can do that too. So like if you have any schools in your area that like red is one of the colors, navy blue is one of the colors. Um, those are really good options right now. Black, gray. Um, but you can upload the logo. I'll just use this medium utility to it, for example. Okay, so when I click on personalize, you want to change it from embroidery to print and photo and you'll click on picture proud um i don't have one that doesn't have the background probably readily available but you can download a picture without the background but i'll show you what it'll look like with oops, sorry with the background so if i wanted to put the picture of the picture of the hilton and words of my art on there <laughs> okay i just select the picture that i want And then it's going to upload that photo directly to the bag. Okay. So that would just be an example of what that would look like. But you would want to put the school's logo on there. There are some free background removers. Um, when you're in 
I use Canva to do that. It is that part of it is like a paid thing. Let me see if I can find something. I know I've used a logo. Okay, so like here is a picture of me where I've removed the background. So when I click share, I'm sorry for those of you that are like, this is overload. <laughs> um, when I click download, uh, you want to click on transparent background and download it. And so then once it downloads, okay, you see how it doesn't have a background there. When I go to the 31 website and I upload that photo, it's not going to have the white around it, okay? It's just going to have a picture of me. Okay, so that's how the school logo will work too. And most businesses or sports or schools, stuff like that, they're going to have a logo that already has that transparent background, okay? <clears throat> because they upload it on other merchandise, right? Like coffee mugs and, you know, pens and whatever else they upload their logo to. A lot of them have those logos with the transparent background. But if you do need to create the transparent background, you can like Google free background remover. There are certain websites that will allow you to do that um, completely for free. Uh, but that is what Picture Proud would look like with the school's logo, okay? So that she just did the examples on here um, to show them what it would look like, but um, that's how that works. All right. All right, so we are definitely better together and I did uh, bump our goals up as a lineage for the month of February. So as a lineage, I would love for us to hit the $50,000 mark as far as how much volume we sell this month. And I would love for us to hit 100 parties submitted. Um, and then 40 new team members. We welcomed 35 last month. So I definitely think um, we can do that again and go even further and touch a few more people. Because remember, when you're having those sponsoring conversations, there are two reasons that someone would want to join. They can either earn a paycheck, right? Like most of you, um, or they can just shop that 40% discount, okay? Now, when they become part of our team, we'll talk to them differently because somebody who just wants to shop doesn't care about what we've talked about tonight, right? But people who want to earn a paycheck, this is important because this is how you're going to grow your paycheck and grow your business. Um, but when you're having those joint conversations, I want you to know that you can have the conversation about someone who would just want to join your team to shop the discount, okay? Totally fine. Um, for them to do that. I know um, some direct sales companies, you know, might not be okay with that pathway, but we are 100% okay with them simply joining and enjoying a 40% discount. So don't be shy about sharing the opportunity um, and don't feel like you have to know the answer to every single question when you start sponsoring because we have an amazing leadership team who is always happy to answer questions um, that you might have. And we're here to support you in, in growing. All right, anyone have any questions? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so that way I can see all of you. And I apologize that uh, we are kind of right at time. Hopefully it was helpful though to, to be able to see all of that. <laughs> An insider is just a hostess. It's just a new word that we have kind of termed because hostess sounds like you got to invite people to your house. <laughs> um, just kind of a new age term, I guess. Any other questions? I love seeing some of my new consultants on here. I see Tammy and Dina and Hannah. So exciting. Well, if you want to have your picture taken, um, go ahead and turn your camera on. If you're like, oh, no, thank you, <laughs> you can leave your camera off. But I am going to go ahead and take a picture. Are you all ready? Three, 
two, one, smile. Awesome. All right, guys. If you guys don't have any other questions, remember, I am going to upload this to YouTube after we get off of here, the recording, in case you're like, wow, I need to figure out how to do that payments page again, or where do I find that texting party again? So I will upload the recording for you to rewatch. But again, feel free to reach out to any of the leaders uh, in the lineage and just simply ask. Um, everything, though, stems from boards. That's where all of those resources came from that I shared with you tonight. Um, so don't, don't think that you can't play around with that. I promise you can't mess anything up with it. <laughs> um, just kind of click through those little bubbles and, and it'll take you to different things, let you explore a little bit. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for being on here with me and spending an hour of your Sunday evening. And I look forward to chatting with those of you that earned the Ascend call. Um, you should have gotten a text from me if you sold $500 or more during the month of January. And there will be an additional call for all of you on February the 12th. Um, and then we'll have our next uh, gather meeting the first uh, week of March. All right, guys, have a good night.